Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Same old spiel as I always do. I am John Roycelin, uh, your host. Welcome to another episode of the Witching Hour podcast. Uh, with me today, I bring a movie review, uh, a vampire film, if you will, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, entitled Beneath Us All. Um, one of the executive producers, Joe Williamson, emailed me asking me if I would care to take a peek and let everybody know what I thought. I am more than honored and proud anytime anybody reaches out to me and says, hey, take a look. Let me know what you think. I appreciate that very much. Um, and so I did so. And uh, so here we go. Uh, Beneath Us All uh, was written, excuse me, screenplay was by Brett, Brett Miller, directed by Harley Wallen. Now, Mr. Wallen is actually from Sweden. He lives in America now. Uh, his Swedish name, I don't know if it's Harley Wallen or Mikkel, uh, but anyhow, uh, it is shown on 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 his page, so I appreciate that uh, very much, hanging on to his roots. Anyhow, uh, my apologies. Directed by Harley Wallen, it stars uh, Sean Whalen, Maria Olson, Jan Birch, um, screenplay, like I said, by Brett Miller. Now, this is a Painted Creek Productions in conjunction with West Side Warrior Films and Cama Productions. Uh, so I'm just going to head right into it. The film starts off uh, in 1912 AD in the Netherlands. So we're getting a little bit of history here. I like that. <clears throat> uh, it shows a young mother yelling after her daughter, finds her bloodied up neck lying there on the ground. Next scene, you see a couple of Vikings chasing after Jan, who plays Reese, is the name. Uh, Reese, uh, Fra Frey. Frey is actually the character's name. Uh, so it is not Dracula, he, but he is a vampire. Uh, they run him through, put him into this really, really cool coffin. Hedge him off. Hedge? Hedge? They, they hedge him? No. They are walking through the woods, put them in a ship. They end up in um, across seas to Vinland, the Americas. It is now taken over the story at present day, uh, where we see a young Julie, uh, who is Angel uh, played by Angelina Danielle Kama, uh, Kama, uh, if I'm saying that. Uh, right or wrong, my apologies. Uh, young girl who's about to turn 18 who presently lives in a foster home that is fostered by Sean Whalen and Maria Olson, who I got to let you know, starting off, absolutely brilliant performances by, by both of them. Uh, this is a first for me with Sean as he actually plays a... Oh... Uh, Kind of an asshole. Um, uh, he is um, got a gambling problem. He's got debt because of that, and uh, becomes sort of abusive as a parent. Um, great performance uh, by both of them, though. Um, young Julie in the woods comes across a pendant. Next thing you know, she comes across Jan who let's say she uh, nurses, nurtures, and then feeds him back to life. Okay, so th there's your little catch right there. Now, um, in conjunction with this story, outside of which we also have Social Worker that is being played by Katie Wallen. Did you hear that last name, Wallen? Aha. Uh -huh. Katie, Harley Wallen, yes, husband and wife, beautiful family. Um, she just plays social worker. Harley is also in the film, co-starring as uh, Detective Booker. Um, 
The two of them are already both on the case. Um, the detective from other sightings of accidents must be a wild animal somewhere out that's that's mutilating these bodies. And then uh, and then the two of them actually kind of grow together in conjunction and end up at uh, at the foster home one night. Cops are called. Uh, there's a bloody mess. I'm not going to give anything away. Now, the film was originally released. I have been, I found out between uh, September and possibly uh, November of this past year of, of 23. So not too long ago. It is presently on Tubi and Prime. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to give anything away. Um, the movie is definitely worth a watch. It is kind of a slow burn as it builds up to it, but the character portrayals are great. The acting is great. One thing I really, really like is um, Harley Wallen's behind the camera and as well as in front of the camera. The man can act. He truly can. So actor, director, writer, producer, uh, a little bit of everything going on. And I tell you what, the man is a fucking chameleon. I, I Googled him. I'm looking up pictures of him from this and that and this and that. And every single time he looks, what's to say he really, he does what he has to do to fit the, the character. Okay. He's not always worried, let's say about, well, I got to look good looking. I got to get into shape. He fits the character perfectly. And God, I love that because in this film, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the actor on screen and I'm looking at the Google images and I'm like, damn, that's really him. And he does a great job. Uh, his, his wife also Katie, the two of them spot on with their, with their roles. Um, everybody acting is top notch. Um, it almost has kind of a sci-fi channel feeling movie. If anybody understands what I'm getting at, um, I did read it was actually a low budget production with a high end quality. I'm adding to it because it came out really, really well. Uh, some of the cinematography is beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Um, now, Wallen, uh, he's got a shit ton of movies out. Uh, this one, Scouts Honor, whatever, I don't know. Um, my apologies. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I believe this might be my first endeavor with one of your films. Um, and I am very much going to be looking forward to seeing other films. Uh, the man definitely stays busy. Uh, like I said, the movie is available. I really don't do a whole lot of movie reviews because I want to add enough to where you're going to want to watch it. It's not perfect. It's 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 not going to win any box office awards. Although, um, Harley, I believe, is a multi-award winning filmmaker with good reason. This is a good, solid film. And I definitely do hope that everyone out there gives it a watch. It's rare that people come out with uh, monster movies anymore. Uh, makeup, special effects, and so forth. I can imagine might be a lot more difficult to create prosthetics and so forth as opposed to putting a mask on somebody and have them hold a machete or hacksaw or whatever. No offense to those films because I love and watch them all. But I really appreciate bringing to life, you know, one of the one of the classics. And like I said, no, this is not Dracula. Okay, this is not beauty and lust and love. It is a monster. It is blood. It is death. But it can also be eternal. So I really love that he chose to do something like this. I really do. And the thing that I have noticed about Mr. Wallen's films is that a uh, very wide variety of films. Uh, it looked like there was a lot of action films. Uh, this one, Beneath Us All, uh, I would title it definitely a horror drama. Um, low action. It's got a great buildup, though. 
This one, the characters definitely drive the movie. Again, leading up to it, a little bit of a slow burn, but the acting keeps you coming back, and it really, really does. Um, again, I've I've got to commend uh, Sean Whalen and Maria Olsen uh, as the husband and wife foster parents of the film. I think they did a brilliant, brilliant job. Uh, Maria Olsen, if you're not familiar with the name, uh, if you look up her face, um, you check her out, you'll definitely recognize her. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say uh, Paranormal Three, I believe. But holy shit, the woman has done a million movies. So she did a great job. Obviously, she keeps doing a million more. Um, again, I do want to thank Joe Williamson for having sent this movie to me. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, that is about a wrap for me. Uh, even the kids in the movie. I do want to say that. A lot of times, kids in the movies are kind of like... <laughs> All right, uh, the two youngest, great. The acting w was spot on for, I'd say, maybe a four- and a five-year-old-ish age. Um, the one eldest outside of Julie, I would say, is probably eight or nine. Young boy, eh, a little bit weak, but he still held up. He did. He got his lines out. He did well enough. Um and Jan did a great job as uh, as as Frey, um, uh, uh, as the vampire. Um, Jan himself, obviously, a, a well seasoned actor. Um, I'm going to say one movie: uh, People Beneath the Stairs. I know you're going to recognize the face as soon as you see it. Anyhow, he did a great job. Um, again, uh, cinematographer, some brilliant shots. No, no real downfalls at all. I finished the movie. I wasn't bored. Uh, I didn't hate the film. I think it's a good, solid film. These lights are blinding me in my eyes. I'm sorry, but I can't see crap without my glasses on anymore. Uh, so I apologize uh, for that. Damn it to hell. Um, <laughs> anyhow, uh, be sure to check it out uh, beneath us all. Uh, I know there are, I believe there are hard copies available for it, uh, but you can check it out on both Tubi and Amazon Prime presently. That's what I got for you folks. I hope you enjoy it. If you check it out, let me know. Uh, it is a indie film. Always support the indie film. Always support the genre. Um, hope you guys have a great summer. Stay cool. Heat index this week is... Hell on earth. So definitely take it easy out there. Uh, boys and girls, again, um, Harley Wallen. The film is beneath us all. I'm your host, John Roysland with the Witching Hour podcast. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Check me out also on uh, Roku TV. If you have Roku, all you got to do is go to their apps. You will find me. Download. It is for free. I have eight or nine videos up there presently. Next month, I will be bringing you all eight or new, eight or nine new ones. Uh, so I really appreciate the support. Spread the word, like, hit, share, all that crap. But most importantly, as I always say, thank you. 